friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am here with yet another traditional recipe called Pasale Sambar or Pasale Kundil. Let's see how the recipe goes. But before we go through the recipe, I request you all to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you like the videos, do comment and let me know. Let's see what are the ingredients that we need for Basale Kundil. For Kundil, we need Basale or Malabar spinach. Uh, it looks exactly similar to spinach and we call it Malabar spinach in southern India. I have taken two bunches of Malabar spinach. One red onion sliced. 100 grams of fresh coconut. 6 to 7 garlic pods which are peeled. Half teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of jaggery powder or coconut sugar, a teaspoon or a bit more according to your taste. I have taken salt, few curry leaves, then I have three red chilies, dry red chilies. A teaspoon of coriander seeds, a teaspoon of split black gram or udar dal, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, then a gooseberry sized tamarind, and I have also taken one cup of cooked tur dal. I have taken around 250 grams of raw dal and then I have cooked it in pressure cooker and I have got around 500 grams of cooked dal. Then I have taken homemade ghee. I will be using it to fry our masalas for grinding it later. These masalas we will fry first and grind it along with coconut to prepare the masala paste. Initially we will cook the basale that is malabar spinach along with onion in a pressure cooker. To begin cooking we will start by adding the basale or malabar spinach in a pressure cooker. We will add a teaspoon of salt to it. Followed by that, we will be adding the sliced onion. Now I will add water and allow it to cook. I have added around 100 ml of water. I will now cover and pressure cook this for two whistles. As the spinach leaves are cooking, in the meantime we will fry our masala ingredients. For that I will take a teaspoon of ghee. Then slowly we will add all these ingredients. And as the ghee gets heated, we will add in the black gram. Followed by that, we will add the mustard seeds. And then we will add the cumin seeds. coriander seeds now we will add this dry red chili keep trying this masala ingredient for a while till you get an aroma
keep sauteing like this so that you don't burn them. The masala is now fried. We can see the change in I will switch it off. Now we will put all the ingredients that we need to grind the masala paste. So to the mixer grinder I will first add fresh coconut. I will add the masala ingredients that we just fried using ghee. Followed by that, we will add the tamarind. To the mixer blender, I have added fresh coconut. Then I have added the fried masala ingredients. And now I will add the gooseberry sized tamarind. And now we will be adding water and grinding it into a smooth paste. The ground smooth paste looks like this, as you see. This I will be transferring to the cooking pot. I have transferred the Malabar spinach and onion which I have pressure cooked into this cooking pot and now we will allow it to cook. To this we will add half teaspoon turmeric powder then we will add a teaspoon of jaggery or coconut sugar then I will add a bit of salt I have added around a teaspoon of salt to cook the malabar spinach and onion but I will be adding a bit more because we will now be adding other ingredients so I am adding around a half teaspoon of salt again I have just mixed the jaggery and turmeric that I have added along with salt. Now to this I will add the cooked dal, cooked to a dal. cooking pot. And we will give a good mix. We will cook for 2-3 to three minutes and then we will add the masala paste that we just prepared. This is how our ground paste looks like. This masala paste we will transfer it here. I have been cooking for around 10 minutes now. It has come to rolling boil once. Now we will prepare the seasoning for our basale kotil so that I will take around a teaspoon of ghee to that I will add now half teaspoon of mustard seeds as it splutters we will add the crushed garlic the garlic pods and I have crushed and now I will add them and we will fry that till it is a bit golden in color we will add our curry leaves to this We will add this garlic seasoning to our basale kotel. The seasoning that we prepared, and now we can serve it with rice or dosa.